Uh, all right. So that was the big news for us today. The uh, Ed Bryn Weiss was standing by for all of that. But there's been other things going on in the campaign trail today. And there's Bryn uh, in Richmond, B.C. Bryn, uh, what else you got for us tonight? Yeah, David, nothing spices up a campaign like talk of spies, either in Mary Pollock's campaign office or perhaps from China. But of course, this election, if you listen to the Liberals, is all about the economy and energy more specifically. And Christy Clark, of course, as we heard from Byron Chu, was back up in northern British Columbia today talking about the centerpiece of the Liberal campaign, which is liquefied natural gas and using that sector to pay off this province's debt earlier today in Fort Nelson, British Columbia. Christy Clark says Adrian Dix is against energy, and that's a message we've heard a lot of this campaign, and I dare say we're going to hear more of it as we wind this down. Let's listen to Christy Clark from earlier today in Fort Nelson. Adrian Dix is saying he thinks we should go slow on resource development. Well, make no mistake, when Adrian Dix says he would go slow, it's just code for NDP no. We can't afford to say no, and we can't afford weak leadership. And of course, David, as this election campaign moves forward and the polls start to show a tightening race, it's not surprising the Liberals would focus on uh, what we do see in the polls as their strong suit, the economy and energy. Adrian Dix again today was asked about his Kinder Morgan decision, something that continues to take heat on the campaign trail. When he decided on Kinder Morgan, when he went public with it, uh, and why, of course, even his own inner advisors like Carol James didn't know that this was going to be the position of the NDP leader, that he was going to oppose the Kinder Morgan pipeline expansion. Earlier today here in Richmond, actually just behind me at Frank Huang's campaign office, Adrian Dick said the Kinder Morgan plan talks more, shows more about the Liberals and not having a clear vision on Kinder Morgan pipelines than it does about the NDP and their position. Let's listen to Adrian Dix. Well, my point on Kinder Morgan is that I don't want to see a ninefold increase in oil tankers on the coast. I don't think that's in our economic interest. It's not in the interest of jobs, and it's not in the interest of the environment. So I thought it was important to let people know that before the election. The Liberal Party, I don't know what their position is in public. We know that they've said that they'll approve projects if they get a big enough check from Ottawa or from Alberta, and that's fine. But I, uh, I feel uh, on my side... Uh, that uh, this was the right decision. It was important to tell people before the election. That's what I did. So, David, with all the talk of spies going on today, we are, of course, also talking about energy from the campaigns and adding fuel to the fire. Tom Sigurdsson, who's the president of the 40,000 member large uh, BC and Yukon Building Trades Council, he was quoted in a business article today, David, saying he's disappointed about the NDP flip flop on the Kinder Morgan process. Here's what the article uh, that was published today reads quote, I was disappointed that the process was interrupted. I think the process should have gone through. That's why you have a process. We want those jobs. So now, of course, we're hearing from business associations saying they're not happy with the NDP position on Kinder Morgan. So you can expect energy to continue to make headlines in this campaign, no matter what we're hearing about spies. David? Uh, and yet, B.C. politics, Bryn, uh, you know, we've heard about it. We're seeing it up close. In one day, we have communists, gay spies, people phoning into talk shows without using their own names. And I heard late breaking news, the Conservatives are promising, be promising beer in corner stores. Uh, this one really has it all, doesn't it? It really does, David. You know, the interesting thing here is going to be voter turnout because when you're just on the streets in British Columbia, it's very obvious that many people are very engaged in this campaign. They are very passionate about this campaign. And I'm really interested to see uh, the early voting and the voting turnout numbers in this election because, as you say, it's got a bit, a bit of something for everyone. Liquor laws, uh, spies, it's got a bit of everything. Bryn Weiss in uh, Richmond. We'll be back to Bryn a little later on in the show. Thank you so much. You're welcome. Oh,